Hello everybody, I am Renzo Mox, and welcome to another LEGO Bionicle set review. Today I'm reviewing set number 71312, Ikimu the Mask Maker. I, was, I, I thought I said Mask Power, I'm like, what? Um, yeah, Ikimu the Mask Maker. So you can see all the glorious box art, and aside from Umarak the Destroyer's box, I think this one has like the second best art. Not only do you get the destroyer in the background standing so fearfully, as you can tell, they're literally about to fight. And that's what I love about the boxes, is that they tell a story, something that their boxes usually aren't supposed to do. Well, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to judge. Of course, there is the, um, yeah, there's the extra mask that comes in the set, which I'm still confused about, but I hope they, that, they establish that in Journey to One. And for the back of the box, we have Ikimu's swinging arm function. Then we have Ikimu himself standing so coolly. I guess he's trying to smash the mask or something. I don't know. Um, and then we have his other two functions. Then here is the comic, which is probably my favorite one. I'll admit, it's pretty cool. And actually, I do think that this is the same comic that comes with Umarak the Destroyer as well. And then there's the actual size of the beautiful mask, which I'll touch on a bit later. But that's it for the box. Let's take a look at the figure now. Okay, so I have a lot of things right off the bat to say about Akimu. First of all, there's just many jokes and stuff that actually fly into my head. First of which would be the fact that he looks like a living Gatorade. Uh, which I will admit, I'm not actually the one that made that joke. Someone else made it. I don't know who. I can't. I can't give. I will definitely give credit. Um, but yeah, here is the big guy himself. And when I mean big, he's actually pretty tall. I'll do a little comparison right now. Not with Ikimu, however, but with Onua. <laughs> so Ikimu is bigger than Onua. That's weird. And I only compare these guys because they have semi similar builds. In, con in in theory, I almost said concept. In theory, yeah, they have very identical builds. And even though Onua appears to be taller by the waist, it's really Ikimu's overall build that makes him stand out. I will compare him with the regular Ikimu later, though. And you can just see this guy glow. He's got so many trans parts. That's the majority of his build. And now, you know, people have been wanting to make a, like a trans character for a long time. Like a translucent character. Not, am I using that right? Is it transparent or is it translucent? Um, translucent, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, translucent character for a long time, and we're one step closer with this piece. Uh, as we can actually see, he's got this leg issue where he uses the small leg, which I don't mind as much as other people do, but I still also don't like it because you have such a long thigh, and then he's just got this small little knee. <laughs> little lower leg it can also be very distracting um everything else i think the gold you know a lot of people say that the gold is lacking but i personally like it uh this is of course not gold however is it i gotta compare no this is not this is also not the pearl gold color that we see in onua's actual set they're different colors which is yeah okay they are actually different colors, I think. I, I'm very bad with vision, and that could be wrong, but oh well. Uh, so I do think the gold on him does look nice, especially this part. These are kind of like boots. I do appreciate that. The actual shoulder armor, I don't like that much. I thought I would, um, but they just sit awkwardly on the back. And actually here, I am so glad that they covered that up. That just looks really good. Um, you know, I, a lot of people like this, but... I'll be perfectly honest, we'll talk about the weapons now. A lot of people like it, but I don't, I don't like it, I just can't. I, 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 I just don't like it, the shield, it sticks too far out for me, that's the main problem. See, and then people like say that this is okay, I don't like that either. Like, I just want a place to put his shield, like I want like an actual like place to just like fold it up. But there's no place, because it just sticks out too far, at least in my opinion. And of course, you can just take that off, because it is pretty interesting. And you can do that multiple ways. You can just... Like that. And you can also get this, which I believe you can also use Ikimu's Falcon from the exclusive pack for. That's pretty interesting. I do admit, that that, that is a pretty interesting... I'll probably talk... I, we talked about that on the Unity podcast. Um... Anything else? Oh yeah, his hammer 
is actually a Technic build, which is okay. This is the first time this piece is used in uh, Bionicle G2. Interesting. The hammer itself is okay. I wish there was a function. I thought they were going to give it Onua's function, where it was cool, but, like, you, like, you can, like, flip it around, and there'd be a stud shooter in the back, and if you turn this, the studs would shoot out, which I'd be perfectly fine with getting. I don't care if we got it with Onua. I'd just be happy getting that. Um... But no, we didn't get that. Instead, we got that new crystal piece, which I think is okay. It's also not exclusive because you get it in Storm Beast. So if you want those parts, you either get, you probably should get Storm Beast because uh, he has two of them. So yeah, I'm also not sure if my brother built this right. I gotta check it out because yeah, I think it's asymmetrical, which is confusing because it looks so, <laughs> it's so hard to tell. Um, I guess yeah, this can spin. I do like that. It's just not as fast. It uses a regular gray pin, and my cat is now downstairs. I don't know why. I, he's meowing very loud, um, but I'm not going to stop now because I've already been talking for so long. <laughs> he is annoying. Um, okay, hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. My cat would not stop meowing. Yeah, I could just restart that, but I'm not going to. I'm not going gonna to. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I guess it's time we actually get on to the functions. Uh, he has technically three functions? Yeah. Okay, so first of all is the mask pop-off. So you just push that and the mask pop-off. And here's a quick look to look at that amazing mask. I will compare this in the actual comparison between this and or between this guy and the regular Kimu. And taking that off, it, I don't know, it looks weird. His head is all, so his body is this translucent float, and then you just got this silver head. It looks out of place. I don't know. That looks <laughs> looks weird. I wish that it had been molded in a translucent um, blue. I don't know. That'd be weird. Um, the next function are his two functions. You have the gear function, which it's very similar to Onua 2015 with how it's built, because they use one of those friction pieces. I'll show you right now. They use one of the ball and socket hand pieces to um, you know, tighten up that connection. And really, if you want to get the best gear function, you have to move the shoulder armor in an awkward way. So it's just going to, like... Uh, and it's also pretty tight, and I see why they do that. It's for friction. Also, this has a gray joint and a trans light blue joint. However, this one does not have that. And that's only because, you know, it's all about friction. They really did give this guy a lot of friction because they couldn't afford friction gears. So they're like, or no, it's not that they couldn't afford that. Um, there's also another way to put Ikimu's shoulders. I think that looks really cool. I think that gives them kind of a hunchback look. I don't know. Uh, and then the second function that you, uh, not you, <laughs> the second function that he has, he has is the waist feature so yeah that's cool um so if he's not slashing with his hammer you can you can uh let's see just put that in there you go you can put that in and you can get some real dynamic poses out of this guy look at that look at him shine um then you can just turn this around that's all right that's cool um, but I guess there's nothing else really to talk about, so let's move on to the comparison now. So standing here is the Figget King and the Figget Soldier. Um, uh, that's a reference to my series, by Rama. watch it. I kid. Uh, in fact, with all joking aside, I'll tell you what I get from my basic, in uh, first look of this. I see Ikimu 2015 as a king of his society of a species, almost, that, that wears these types of masks, almost. Or no, not even these types of masks. I see Ikimu 2015 as the king of the Okotans. And I see Ikimu 2016 as almost a royal guard. So, like, a projected image of what, like, um... Almost like the Iron Legion from uh, Avengers, except he, he only has, like... He can summon in... He can summon them in from himself. And this is what he gets. It's it's kind of an astral form of him, self. A, not a stronger form, but just like one that can hold off enemies. That's what I'm getting from this because they both have such different body sizes. But I do respect the fact that they're trying to stay true to the original form, and you can see that comparison in just everything that these guys do. Um, they both have this boot sort of aesthetic going on, and they both have translate blue for the lower limb. That's in or upper limb. Sorry, that's interesting. 
Um, so these guys really are trying to stay true to themselves. I prefer Ikimu 2015 more, but that's just my opinion. So I think together they look alright, but not perfect. Um, and yeah. Uh, the mask that comes in this set is Umarak's Drained Mask of Shadows, I suppose, yeah. Uh, which looks really cool. I wish it was all gunmetal because I personally think that would have looked a lot better because if they're trying to make a drained mask or a corrupt... It's definitely not corrupted. I don't know why Akimu would corrupt a mask. It is a uh, drained version. And I guess what they're going to do with the Destroyer is put this on him and bring him back to reality, I guess. That's just my prediction. Let's bring in, actually, the Hunter right here, which is still very... Very large to actually fit on my uh, on my screen. He's still very large. Um, wow. Okay, that I just made the screen darker. And let's try try that on him. Of course, I already know it's not really going to look that good. And I'm not even going to try it on Akimu because actually it doesn't look half bad. It does look drained, and that's its intention. It's supposed to. Let's make that. Let's make it ominous looking. There you go. Um, no, but I think it looks pretty cool. And. Uh, I mean, the trans orange obviously doesn't fit in, but the gunmetal kind of does. That's really cool, actually. I do like that. Uh, so, let's put him aside. So, there's the two figgets. They look alright. Uh, and I'll mention that in my final thoughts. So, let's move on to that part now. So, I like this set. Do I like it more than the original Akimu 2015? Well, first of all, comparing the sets is completely unfair. Due to the fact that Akimu comes in a two-character set. I keep calling it two-pack. Is that right? Uh, two part set, two, two pack. I'm just gonna call it two pop, two pack. Uh, no, I I don't really I don't really know. Um, I guess dual set. I'll just call it two pack set. So Kimu uh, 2015 came in a two pack set, with, and both of the figures are great. And if Kimu came in, uh, if Kimu came in the Umrak the Destroyer set, well that'd be a lot more of an expensive set, but that'd be a greater deal. Um, and I might even like that set more. But Ikimu 2015 is just perfect. He was just the small little guy. He was a mentor. His weapons were perfect. His stud shooter, his shield was perfect. He's been almost downgraded, which is weird because he's been upgraded, but he's also been downgraded. I feel like the update to his actual armor himself, the actual build, is good, but his weapons have been completely downgraded. The shield is okay, I just don't like how far it juts out. And the hammer, while I think is in general is okay, is a huge step down from the original stud shooter. And in my opinion, just doesn't look that good. Overall, uh, wait, no, no, not overall, I still have some more thoughts. Umarak's mask is really cool, I really like that. Especially on Umarak, it do it's, doesn't look as cool, but I still think it looks alright. And overall, just this guy looks fine, and I really enjoy the look of him. And this is the basic, uh, the, the second last set of this, uh, wave, I guess, I suppose. Um, but yeah, he's okay. Do I want, any, do, do I prefer him over Ikimu 2015? Definitely not. Uh, do I like the mask better? That's an interesting question. Uh, I actually can't decide this. The mask of, they're both great masks, and I should have done that comparison in this video. But thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you again in the next video, which will come out very soon, because uh, tomorrow, or, yeah, tomorrow I will be releasing the review for Umarak the Destroyer. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for being so silly, and goodbye.